Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. All right, so for today, we'll be looking at this question. This is uh, GCE 2017, and uh, the paper was written on 26th of July. All right, so uh, speed time graph. If you can see nicely the diagram here and uh, the question reads, the diagram below shows the speed time graph of a hundred meters sprinter who accelerates uniformly for three seconds until he reaches a speed of 12 meters per second. He maintained the speed for seven seconds and then uniformly returns for a further four seconds and comes to a stop. All right, so if you can see here there is a zero. This is where the this person started running. The race or the running started from this point. So he ran for three seconds. And for three seconds, the speed was at 12 meters per second. This is a speed over here. And this is time down here. So when he reached 10 seconds, it started retardating. Okay, this is the retardation up to here. And then the first question they say, uh, calculate the acceleration during the first three seconds. We know that acceleration can be calculated using two methods. So one of the methods is uh, the one for finding gradient. So you say M, which is gradient, we write the formula for finding gradient. It's a Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so this is the formula the other one it can be acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time so you can use whichever this or this whichever is easier to work with so let me start with the first one the first one you need to identify the coordinates so the coordinates remember they said uh, during the first three seconds up to here so here, what are the coordinates here? It's a 0, 0. And then here, it's a 3, 12. So this is 3, 12 here. And then you can say the first one here, this is your x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is your x sub 2 and y sub 2 over here. So now you can plug them in your equation. So meaning it will look like this. Y sub 2 is 12 minus Y minus Y sub 1, which is 0 here. Over X sub 1 is 3 minus X sub, uh, sorry, X sub 2 here is 3 minus X sub 1, which is 0. So now here we can work out things. We clean up on top. 12 minus 0 is 12 over 3 minus 0 is 3. And then you divide here, you find that our answer will be equal to uh, 4 meters per second squared. Remember, we are finding acceleration. We can also use this other formula where we just say, what is our initial uh, final velocity? You check velocity is this side. What is our final velocity? Here it's 12. So you can write... 12 minus our initial velocity 0 over the time which is 3 the time here is 3 so you work out things on top here you find that 12 minus 0 is 12 over 3 almost the same this stage and this stage it's almost the same if you can see then when you divide the answer will be 4 meters per second squared all right so we go to question b where they're saying calculate the redactation at the end of the race. So if we can check nicely the diagram here, there is uh, this side, it was accelerating, and then this side, it's uh, decelerating, which is uh, retardation. So it's uh, going down like this. So meaning they want us to find from here up to here. Here actually in the diagram supposed to be 14, from 10 to 14 here. So it's the same. It's more like we are calculating acceleration. Now the opposite of acceleration which is the deceleration. So what you basically do here, you get mostly this same formula, 
which is A is equal to V minus U over T. And then now uh, where is V final velocity? It's here where it's finishing. What is the velocity here? So you can check this side. The velocity is zero. So you put zero minus. Put zero here minus. The initial velocity will be where it started decelerating. It's here, which is 12. So you put zero minus 12 over the time here. You check what is the time difference here. This is 14. This is 10. So what is the time between uh, 10 and 14? So you can just say 14 minus 10, which is equal to 4. So meaning time will be equal to 4. Whereby, if you say 0 minus 12, it will be negative 12 over 4. And then when you divide 4 into negative 12, it's negative 3 meters per second squared. We are done. This is the answer. We go to the next question, which is uh, C where they're saying find the distance uh, or calculate the distance he covered in the first 10 seconds. So if you can see nicely, the first 10 seconds, like from here, it's 0 to 10. And the first 10 seconds, what shape is, is, is being formed here? This is, a, this, is a, this is a trapezium. If you can see, this part is not included. You just end up to 10 here. It's a trapezium. So you can use two ideas. I'll show you. All the ideas the first one would be to would be to use the formula for finding area of a trapezium the next one you can use formula for finding area of this triangle plus the area of the rectangle over here so let's try we'll try all the methods so we'll start with the area for uh, area of a trapezium which will be half multiplied by a plus b multiplied by h which is height so now we check. We need to find our A and our B and also H here. So what is our A? So A will be the distance from here or the time difference from here to here. What is it? This is a 10. So we can say equal to 1 over 2. Our A, we know that it's 10 plus our B. Our B will go to our trapezium. We check on top here. The difference from here is starting from 3 and then up to 10 here. So what is the difference? This will be 7. So our B will be equal to 7. We go to our height. Our height will be from here to here, which is 12. So our height is 12. Multiply by 12. So we can work out things here. Since we are not allowed to use the calculator, so what we can do is to divide this 2 into 12, which is equal to 6, we add this, it will be equal to 17 times 6. 17 times 6, our answer will be 102 meters. So this is our answer. We can use the other formula. Let me show I just want to show you that uh, the other formula I talked about can work where you say area is equal to half h b or b h whichever it's area of a triangle plus area of a rectangle which is l times b so l times b is for this rectangle if you're able to see it and then the triangle over here if you're able to see so area of the triangle we we'll start with the height what is the height for this triangle is 12 and then the breadth here is uh, uh three so we can plug in the values here we we'll say times 12 times 3 plus L times B will be L is 7. The difference here is 7. From here to 10, it's 7. And then from here to here, it's 12. So it will be 7 multiply by 12. And then we can work out things here whereby 2 can go into 12 6 times. So when we say 6 by 3, it's... Uh, it's 18 plus uh, 7 by 12. It will be 84, which is equal to, when we add these two, we'll get 102 meters. So this is how you find the area using these two formulas. Or you find the distance using these two areas. Thank you very much.
subscribe to my youtube channel and be able to watch more and more videos and to those who would like to join my online tuitions you can uh, send me a message on my whatsapp number which is zero nine six nine seventeen fifty seven zero one thank you